Welcome to my Let There Be Love chord melody jazz guitar lesson. Hi, my diligent little jazz bees around the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. You'll learn all the great jazz guitar chords and how to weave the melody in between them. I show everything slowly, note for note, and there is also a slow tempo playthrough towards the end of this lesson. I've made taps and a back uh, and backing tracks, which you can download from the link down below in the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop guitarversum.com. Now let there be love and let's get started. key of E flat and we have an A1 and an A2 section. Each of these are uh, 16 bars long so we have a total of 32 bars. Here we go. Alright here's phrase number one. I'll play it fast for you first then I'll break it all down for you slow and easy and then I'll play that slow tempo again. Here we go. Three, four, one. <laughs> Alright, we are in the key of E flat and our first chord is going to be an E flat but we have a little pickup bar that appears before bar number one and this is this melody and I harmonize it with a sixth in the key of E flat. So we get the G and the B flat, then the A flat is harmonized with the uh, uh, C, right, so it's three, three, four, five. And then 6-6, six, six. no 6-7, six, sorry, because in the key of E flat we have the D, right? Not the D flat, so that's why we need the D here. And now I change, I have my middle finger line here and I can change over to E flat major 7 chord. 6-8-7-8-6, six, eight, eight, six. upper 5 strings, but I just play the upper 3 strings with my finger and the bass A string with my pick standard jazz rhythm, right? G minor 7 is next. That's a standard G minor 7 chord. 5, 7, 6, 6. If you don't know any of these chords, check out my chords playlist. I have a, a video tutorials on chords. Uh, G minor 7. Then uh, the melody is on the 3rd fret of the E string and I already bar over it in order to now play the full G minor 7 chord from the D string 3rd fret. Then a melody, A flat, B flat, and now I have my uh, G half diminished to C7. We have a 2-5 in F minor now. G half diminished is the 2, so here's the root, G, D flat, F and B flat regular um, uh, jazz rhythm again and next is the five chord the C7 flat 9 and I need this in melody so I went for this diminished chord and if you're a viewer of my videos you already know that you because I use that all the time you can um, use diminished arpeggios over altered chords okay just pick any chord tone like 
B flat is the uh, flat seventh and shape a diminished chord around it and you get a C7 flat 9 in this case 5 6 5 6 1 2 then since they repeat themselves all three frets 1 2 3 I go down three frets to capture this uh, um, melody tone then a melody continues on A flat I play that with my pinky because I now go up back again to that G diminished or C7 flat 9. So the last bar is 1, 2, 3. Right? And here is the whole phrase, phrase number 1 at slow tempo. 3, 4, 1. Here's phrase number two for you at fast tempo first. One, two, three, four. All right, we now have a two five in the key of E flat minor and we start with F half diminished, same as G, but on the F. Three, four, four, fourth fret. All right, we play twice. Now the alt chord. That's a B flat 7 flat 9, 3, 4, 3, 4. But now we have to, there's not enough uh, room down here, or not enough frets down here, so we need to change the strings now. Um, so we have uh, 5, 6, 4, 6 in a 4 strings. That's also a diminished chord or a B flat 7 flat 9 chord. 2 up with the pinky to the 8th fret of the B string and uh, 1 up to get another B flat 7 flat 9 chord in the shape of a F diminished 8, 9, 7, 9 in a 4 strings, right? And here's the resolution E flat major this time, we go to major then uh, we know this already, 6 and the upper 3 strings are 6, 8, 7 an F minor 11, here is the F, actually it's an F sus2 chord, but it's meant to be a minor, okay, so we call it F minor 11, 3, 5, 4, 6, all right, one uh, strum, then we go to G minor 7, here we go, we know this already, 5, 7, 6, 6, and now we have another diminished chord, but it is not a substitute for an altered chord, for a 7 flat 9 chord. It's just a passing chord. Uh, G flat diminished, 4, 5, 4, 5. Then I go up to the 10th fret and down to, to 7, 8, 7, 8. That's also G flat diminished, right? Here's the G flat now. And here's phrase number 2 at slow tempo. 3, 4... And here we go with uh, phrase number three at fast tempo first. One, two, three, four. We start with the resolution, the F minor chord in the shape of F minor uh, 11. Again, 3, 5, 4, 6. We have this already twice. And this is now a 2, 5, 1 in a major key, standard 2, 5, 1. This is the 2 chord. Here comes the 5 chord, B flat 13. Here's the root, B flat, or here would be the virtual root. 6, 7, 8, and 6 by barring, right? Then I lift my uh, ring finger up and I get the sixth, the F note on the uh, sixth fret of the B string. I play it twice. Then I play this chord again, just the D, G, and B strings. That's a B flat 7 uh, chord now. Then the eighth fret of the B and the ninth fret of the B. 
doesn't matter if you use these fingers or just the pinky. It's a little tricky to get this sounding though. If you don't bar all over it, okay? All right, and then we go to the E flat major, which we already know, bass and then the upper three strings. And we play th thrice, three times. First bar, second bar, one, two, and now we have an A diminished. A, um, that's the fifth, fourth fret, fifth fret, and fourth by barring to the seventh of the G string. Lift it up to get the fifth of the G string and back to the seventh. Oh no, not back to the seventh, just to the fifth. That's the last uh, tone. All right. Now here's phrase number three, add slow tempo. Two, three, four. And here's the last phrase of the A1 section. This is phrase number four. Here we go. Two, three, four. Alright, we start with the F minor 7 chord down here, 3, 5, 4, 4, upper 4 strings, play twice, B flat 7 flat 9 already as a diminished chord, we know this already, 3, 4, 3, 4, and that's the 5 chord, now, but this time the melody is different, I go down to the F, and I harmonize it in 6, so we have the 6 of D and the 6 of the B string, right? Just move your fingers across, right? Direct line. Uh, then I add the rest of the chord, the D diminished chord, which is the same as B flat 7 flat 9 again, 5, 6, 4, 6 in a 4 strings. I glide down to the 4th fret with my pinky, one more to the left and I shape a diminished chord again, again B flat 7 flat 9 or B diminished, 2, 3, 1, 3, and an E flat major 7 and I decided I just glide up here, so I have can use these two fingers remain here and I go up here in this time the inner four strings, um, 6, 8, 7, 8, because we had this chord before with the upper three strings, now we have the inner four strings. And then we have an F minor 9 here, and that's really short staccato, that's how I play it at least. Um, 8, 6, 8, 8 in a 4 strings, short one. To have a little break, that goes leads us to the pickup again. Leather. Uh, so everything starts all over again. Here's phrase number 4 at slow tempo for you. 3, 4. Welcome to the A2 section. First off, please repeat the first five bars of the uh, A1 section. That's phrase number one plus one bar of phrase number two. I'll repeat that for you quickly. E flat major, G minor seven, G half diminished, so, uh, last doesn't belong in there, just two strums, then C7 flat nine, F half diminished, right? And now after this half F half diminished, we go to B flat seven flat nine as we did before three four three four. But now we have a different melody, and we had that melody, but at the end of A one six six of D and B. Then the rest of the chord five six four six. So that's the D diminished or B flat seven flat nine. 2 to the right, 8th fret, and 1 to the right and the whole chord, F diminished or B flat 7 flat 9, 8, 9, 7, 9. So we have this bar in another place, okay? But 
not in the beginning. Right now we go to E flat major, one to the left, upper three strings again, six, uh, seven, eight, six. We know this chord already. We just played once now, and then we go to E diminished, five, six, five, six, and that's actually a C seven flat nine substitute. And that C7 flat 9 now resolves to F minor 11 in this case. 3, 5, 4, 6. We had this. 1, 2. That's also the 2 chord for a 2, 5 of a 2, 5. And now it's the 5 chord B flat 13. Actually, we go here. B flat is on the 6th fret. Then 6 of these, 7 and 8. Then the 9th fret and the 6th. Actually, you should play it as a bar chord. That's better. 6, 6, 7, 8. And you go over to the 9th fret. And then the 6th is being barred because in, in the next phrase we'll learn that there will be an E flat major and you just keep lying here. If you don't bar it, you have to go like and then refret everything. So I think barring is better here. Alright, here is. Um, Phrase number five at slow tempo. I'll yeah, I'll play the entire thing with the uh, first five bars included. All right, three, four. And here are the next four bars. Here we go at fast tempo. Two, three, four. We have the resolution that I showed you before E flat major seven, upper four, three strings plus the A bass. Twice, then G minor seven. That here's the G, um, 10, 8, 10, 11, inner four strings, then the B string again, then everything again, then I lift my pinky and bar over so I can hit the 8th fret of the B string, and back to the uh, 11th, right, the whole bar. C13, we have a virtual C here on the 8th fret, and you start right below it on the D string. Oops, good catch. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 10. And that's a C13, 9, or C9, 13, whatever. Um, I play that once, then I go to the G minus 7. Here's the G in the A string. I don't play the D string, but I bar over it. And I play 10, 11, 10 of the upper three strings, right? It's like a G minus 7 without the... Uh, actually, you can play it if you want to. But I just hit the upper three strings plus the A bass. Then back to that C13 9. Then I lift my pinky and I uh, bar that 8th fret of the E string. Play it. Play everything again with the pinky lifted off. Pinky goes to the 12th of the B string and back to the uh, E string 8. Right? So this bar, last bar. Um, yeah, here we go. Alright, and here's the entire phrase number 6 at slow tempo. 2, 3, 4. You made it to the last phrase. This is phrase number seven at fast tempo. Two, three, four. Alrighty, we start with the F minor seven up here. 10, 10, 9, 11 of the upper four strings. I played with my thumb. You can play it whatever, however you like it, right? Just short, 
Then we go to a diminished chord, 10, 11, 10, uh, 11, that stands for F7 altered. It's not in the original chords, I just liked it. And back. And now, let there be love. B diminished, 2, 3, 1, 3 in a 4 strings. 4. And one more up, or two more up, five, six, four, six. Diminished again. And here's the ending chord, E flat six. Here's the E flat, six, five, five, four, in a four strings. You could end it here. I just added a little turnaround for the ending end, you know, for when you really, uh, when the song is finished, if you don't solo over it, okay? So I uh, stay here, play an A diminished after that E flat. Five, four, five, four. Okay, don't play the A string. Then F minus seven inversion with the A flat in bass. That's uh, A flat, F, C, and E flat. B flat seven with the seventh in bass, the A flat. So we stay on the A flat here, and we have that B flat triad. All right. And then I resolve everything to E flat sus2. And I reverse it. So I have 6 is the E flat. Then I bar over 3, 3, and the fourth is the E flat again. I could have ended on the E flat 6 also, but I really dig this one. Right, I have a little bad angle here. Right? Okay, and here is the whole thing at slow tempo. 3, 4. Before I play everything at slow tempo, let me recommend to you my chord melody playlist if you're into chord melody. If you're a beginner or you need to know some more chords, check out my chords playlist. I have uh, the basic jazz seventh chords. You definitely need to know those and also you need to know the tension chords. I hope you're having as much fun learning the tune as I had showing it to you. Go to my lesson uh, web store guitarversum.com for more lesson material and please share the love and the knowledge and hit that subscribe button and I see you next week. Servus, baba.